An 18-month food stamp fraud investigation lands a dozen people in jail as agents seize a fleet of cars, guns, and cash. Investigators say the suspects cheated taxpayers out of more than $2 million meant to help feed the poor. Local 12's Joe Webb joins us now from the newsroom with a story that will probably make you very angry, right, Joe? That's right, Cami. A joint task force of state, federal, and local law enforcement conducted the investigation that focused on two Fairfield businesses, U.S. Beef and the Butcher Shop. Both businesses sell meat door to door. But the transactions often included food stamps for cash and drug deals. The U.S. Beef plant in Fairfield was crawling with federal agents this morning. Workers were hauled off in cuffs. Luxury cars and meat delivery vans were seized. I was just here last night at 9 o'clock and everything was fine and I pulled into Mayhem this morning. She says she lost her job and her vehicle. 19 search warrants were executed today. 12 of 14 arrest warrants were served. The scheme was uncovered after agents infiltrated the meat businesses and documented fraudulent transactions. These meat truck drivers uh, taking uh, food stamp uh, benefits and exchanging them for uh, cash, uh, exchanging them for narcotics. Hamilton County SWAT units escorted agents because many of the people involved were known to carry weapons. Agents say it was a lucrative scheme. They searched a Colerain Township home this morning, leased by one of the business's owners for $3,700 a month. The local operation reportedly accounted for 40 percent of the food stamp fraud in Ohio last year statewide. The investigation is not over. Law enforcement hope today's action sent a message. We're looking at you. Don't think that we don't have your name and number now. And don't think that we're not coming after you soon. Now, agents say these meat truck drivers would develop a relationship with customers and then get to the point where they'd simply pay them 50 cents on the dollar for their food stamps. And sometimes those transactions were allegedly made with drugs, not money. Cami. Wow. All right, Joe Webb reporting. Thank you. The investigation was a collaboration of the more than 60 state, federal, and local agencies that make up the Financial and Electronic Crimes Task Force. The people arrested are due in federal court tomorrow afternoon.